Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got an unusual game for my channel. Today I am playing Evolve. You might have seen my previous Evolve video where I played as the Goliath. Today I'm playing as the Kraken, and instead of just showing a gameplay trailer, I was actually allowed to capture game uh, gameplay at Gamescom, so that's a big plus. This is actually me playing as the Kraken. Unlike the Goliath, who's pretty much all brute strength, this is a low health high mobility and ranged attack type monster so he's considerably harder to use if you don't know anything about evolve that's good because that's kind of what this video is here to explain believe it or not i do play games that are other than call of duty i just don't post them too often because it's not too relevant to this channel but this one is fun and it is actually a shooter so it crossed over pretty well essentially it's kind of like left for dead because you well it's made by the same team that made left for dead there is one monster one big boss one bad guy and that's player controlled like me and then there are four Four other people hunting me. Each one has a sort of different ability, and the four people have to work together as a team to bring me down. So it's it's kind of different. You're going to get to see some of the other people hunting me later in different videos, but I just like showing off the monster gameplay. But do remember when I fight the people later on that these are real, actual people that I'm fighting against. People that you might know, like Jesse Cox or Green Skull, and they're legitimately hunting me. My goal is to kind of avoid them for a little while, to kill the wildlife, to eat up, to get stronger, you know, put enough food in my stomach so that I can evolve which is what you're seeing right here. I get, you know, beastlier and I get more abilities and whatnot. It makes me, you know, more awesome. Their goal is to hunt me down. They can see my footsteps all over the map, glowing an indicator of which direction I've gone. Every time I startle the wildlife, set off a trap, annoy some birds, or do something that makes, you know, a significant amount of noise, they see where I am and they're coming after me. So this whole time I'm not moving like an idiot. I'm actually trying to kind of like double back on myself and keep things busy and going so that they don't just come and wreck me. I personally prefer playing as the monster. They use the like hashtag for, yeah, those are the birds I scared so they know where I'm at. They use the hashtag 4v1 thing because as the monster you are just as powerful as four other people and their goal again is to hunt you down. This is a game that I honestly had a lot of fun with. I played it at PAX a while back not knowing anything about it at all and had an absolute blast and at Gamescom I got to play it again. They've significantly changed how it plays. They added a lot more hunting and tracking. They kind of nerfed the monsters a little bit. It's a little bit more difficult to be monsters now, and the people got a little bit jumpier, boostier, and stronger. And as the monster, you don't actually have to kill all the people to win. That object, this big building that I'm around, is called a power generator of sorts. If I destroy that, then I can, like, kill the power for their ship or for the planet or whatever and leave them trapped here. So I do have an objective that I can play. However, they decided to engage me here. Even though I'm only level 2, I'm a pretty boss monster and mine has like dark energy or vortex or whatever so I'm kind of using my abilities to punish them and this seems like a weird over-the-shoulder game but that's only because I'm playing as the monster all of these people are doing like uh, like quake style FPS it is a first-person game with reloads and jumping and aim down sights and all that sort of stuff and they're really really fighting me right now trying to kill me however I'm using my monster abilities almost perfectly to move around them in ways that they can't to man want to make sure their support stays dead down there I'm flying, I'm boosting, I'm force pushing, I'm keeping them away, and I am going to end up winning because I I'm honestly a pretty boss monster. The, uh, Jesse Cox was also a pretty boss monster too. He was kind of hard to deal with. You'll see some of my gameplay as people to explain how the, as a person you'll kill the monster later. But overall, this is a pretty fun game. If you see it at a convention or anything, I'd highly recommend that you check it out because uh, even though it's not Call of Duty and even though it's not like a hardcore, serious kind of shooter thing, I do have fun with it. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.